installed the gas pedal on an automatic, it doesn't do the same thing that it does on a, on a manual. Now, if you have an old manual, especially if it's carbureted, you want to kind of roll in neutral as much as you can, because then your car is basically just idling and it's getting the best gas mass that it can without being off. Now, if it's a newer car, then you got to kind of check to see if your car is capable of doing this. If you put it in neutral, it's, the engine will stay on and it's going to be using gas. But if you keep it in gear and just take your foot off the gas, it has like fuel cut off and you're, you're basically just uh, transmitting power back into the engine. There's no fuel being put into it. What's causing it to spin is reverse power from your tires going back into the engine. So you're, you're getting, you're not using any gas. So it's even better fuel economy than if you just put it in neutral. But you gotta research to see if your car can do that. I'm not even sure if mine does. I don't think it does. It's a really early fuel injection system. Um, so you wanna try to utilize both of those whenever you can. You kinda have to gauge ahead to see like, okay, how much power am I gonna need and when am I gonna not need that power anymore? You wanna be aware, like you gotta be more active if you wanna really push your fuel economy. Say you're going to travel 1,000 feet. Does it make sense to accelerate as fast as you can to get to that 1,000 feet? Or does it make sense to like get up to a speed where you can stop using the gas and just roll to get to that 1,000 feet? You kind of have to gauge. That's how. But so the point is you got to kind of be in that mindset to, to start to think ahead of time exactly how much gas you're going to need. Another name of the game is to always try to get to your top gear as high as possible. If you know you're going to be accelerating or you're going to be at 45 miles an hour, you're going to probably need fourth gear, give or take, uh, to maintain that speed. You want to try to get to fourth gear as fast as possible. If you crawl through all of the gears and you're short shifting all of them and it's taking you forever to get to fourth gear, you're going to get worse gas mileage because you get considerably worse gas mileage in lower gears than you do in higher gears. I'm not saying the speed, but you want to try to maintain a lower PM in your highest possible gear to get the best possible fuel economy. But that doesn't also mean you, you, um, avoid your higher RPMs. You want to use those higher RPMs to get you to that top gear as fast as possible where you're going to get the best possible uh, fuel economy. And then some cars, um, well I can't show you right now, but they have like a shift light somewhere in the dash and it'll come on when the computer thinks that you're going to, you should shift to get the best fuel economy. I don't think that they're always right. I know when this one is definitely not right. It's basically telling me to shift early all the time. And if I did that, I would I would take a lot more time to get up to my uh, top gear. So at least I, I think I would get worse gas mileage that way. And then in the fourth generation Camaro Firebirds, those T56s, they were notorious for having like a shift lockout. So they wanted you to skip third and sometimes fourth. They wanted you to go from like second to fifth or second to fourth. And it just wouldn't let you go into third. That does make sense. But most of the time, even in this car, I almost never use third gear. Uh, your equivalent could be second, it could be fourth, 